Well, howdy there, Nanner people. It's Chris again. All right, I just had to do that one time. Uh, I've been kind of wanting that for a while. Um, hello, fellow humans. It's Chris. So, for some of you who might see on my channel, uh, I did a live stream earlier. And uh, feel free to not watch it. It was kind of a disaster. First off, I did not realize that it was not picking up the audio uh, from the debate. And then the internet connection was just really bad. I got booted off three times. Uh, so there's there's uh, several periods throughout the video that I guess I just kind of cut off and then come back in. And then I guess I wasn't very clear, like the audio or the visual of me was not good either. And I think that had to do with uh, streaming the debate from YouTube at the same time that I was doing the stream. I'm still figuring this stuff out. I guess uh, still have some kinks to work out. I think some people when they're doing that kind of thing, they have multiple monitors. So... It's alright, we're figuring it out, but I figured since I already had everything set up anyway, I uh, may as well just do a, a quick video kind of following up with everything. The main thing about the debate was really that I just was interested in the the mic situation, since since they, they were apparently going to be silencing people's mics when the other person was talking. Uh, when I first... When I first saw that the debate was coming up this week, my first thing I said was, I'm not watching. I have no interest at all. I'm done with all that. Uh, but then when I found out about the mic situation, I'm like, okay, I kind of I kind of want to see that. Uh, honestly, it was, yeah, it was pretty non-eventful. Kind of boring, to be honest. The one thing I wanted to say was uh, something that I've been thinking about the last couple of days. Um, it kind of starts with an, with an example. So I was coming down... Uh, the road leading up to my house and there's this bend uh, comes around it's kind of a blind spot in a, in a way and people are coming 40 mile, 40 50 miles an hour and uh, it approaches a shopping center from one direction so whenever I'm coming uh, that way um, northbound towards uh, the main road uh, I, I almost always get cut off by somebody coming out of the parking lot because they can't see you coming around the bend so you have to kind of just be aware of that going into it uh, that that's a uh, risk and so you kind of look out for it coming the other way it's the same thing you're coming around the bend into the residential area and again it's a little bit of a blind spot so i was driving towards my house coming around this this spot and uh, there's a woman in a white van and uh, she's at a four-way intersection no stops no stop signs no stop lights and there's a kid maybe 10 12 years old trying to cross on a bike on his bike through this intersection and she's waving him she's waving him through and I'm at a point where I actually was not able to stop I was just behind her uh, basically in her blind spot and the kid was still all the way on the other side of the road so there's no issues with me almost hitting him or anything but I just you know I just drove through but she's waving him on with cars coming behind me at 50 miles an hour who can't see the kid and when the kid goes to cross the street he's not going to be able to see all the cars because he's blocked by the van and i just thought i, I just thought that was so stupid um i i get that the idea is she's trying to be helpful like from her point of view she's trying to help this kid safely traverse the road but you're not taking into context the landscape around you and I thought that there was something there. I thought there was uh, some kind of symbolism or message under there. And the thing that I just kept coming back to is just the idea of knowing the whole story. Knowing the full context of whatever situa situation you're in before making a judgment, a, a, a uh, judgment call for what you think is the best course of action. From her purview, her stopping basically helps to ensure that this kid is going to make it across this busy street safely. Uh, however, you take into, the fa into account the fact that the cars from behind are not going to see him and he's not going to be able to see the cars because your car is blocking part of the view. Um, I, think that there's, uh, I think there's probably a lesson to be learned in there somewhere. So this is something I was thinking about. Uh, no real... Uh, no political um, agenda there, anything like that. It's just something I was thinking about. So I think it's important to remember to to keep in mind that uh, when you think you might be doing a good deed, 
Um, there might be more to the story uh, that, uh, that, that might change the, the proper course of action. So that's all I was thinking about. Uh, hopefully the next live stream will go better. Uh, you know, I'm still learning. We're, we're working everything out. Um, I really appreciate um, just the support and people who just like to kind of kind of humor me in this endeavor. Uh, it's definitely been fun. So I'll talk to you guys again really soon. Thanks a lot. And remember, don't be afraid to question the consensus.